since there is very little room in this area, I think we're going to have to like overclock these constructors just to squeeze out extra production. And I don't actually know what that feeds into. Anyway, let's go back. Or let me double check our storage here. Let's check the constructors. I'm going to overclock this now, just up to 150% for the time being. Because it looks like this is going to be a bottleneck. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's go back up to the fifth floor. And this is using a lot of these. Or actually, it's overflowing. Yeah, so this is fine. Maybe we should add four more of these. I'm not sure why not. I mean, we're already overclocking all of our quick wire production. for the splitters. So if not enough resources are being fed into this, at least we can like overclock or add additional production uh, later on. As long as the resources are being used up for the production, that's good. And then eventually we will have enough of the output product, product that it just clogs up the outputs and then production stops. At least that's the way I see it. So anyway, let's continue powering this up. Do high speed connectors. This last one over here is going to struggle with production of the quick wire or the inputs of the quick wire or however you say it. That will have to do for now. Okay, let's move on to the next product. I think it was the assembler that it required. 
Yeah, the AI limiter requires copper sheets and quick wire. So I think we need additional quick wire production. Okay, let's see what we can do down here. Maybe we can bring Caterium ingots. Or you know what? We might actually have to go to our Caterium ingot place. Get additional manufacturing. What is this anyway? Turbo motor... Turbo motors? So... We can't actually make these yet. So... I'm guessing we should just overclock. I'll grab these nuts. So we don't actually have like hyper tubes going to that area over there. And I don't know why I'm pointing over here, over there, because it's over there. I haven't actually been around here for quite some time. So we should probably check on our thing here. Make sure it's completely optimized. Well. Alright then. So this truck stop is completely loaded. These are MK threes. Okay, two hundred forty per minute. This does fifteen. This requires forty five per minute. So forty five ninety. Hundred five. Hundred eighty. Why did I say one hundred five? Ninety. 180, 270. This is 270. And this is 240. So it can't actually produce enough. You know what? Let's overclock it. Just the maximum. I think that's all we can really do around here. Now, where's that truck? Okay, let's just drop down here. I have to find that truck now. Oh no, it stopped. Damn you. What exactly are you doing? Okay, so I need to bring it coal. I don't want to use the fuel because it's being fueled with coal. Not fuel. Let's get it from this truck stop here. Yeah, we're going to run out of Caterium eventually. Now, I'm not exactly sure why this thing, like, doesn't pick up any fuel. I don't know why it's running out. Maybe I should double check the pause, the wait time on the truck stop over here. Because this is where it's getting fueled up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so it is getting fueled up, but... Oh, there's two pauses here. Now, let's delete this node. 
Delete this node. Change this to, I guess, 10? Yeah, so that's weird. Okay, so we're slowly running out of quick wire in this location. So I think we need to bring this up. We can't add additional quick wire production over here unless we like use this area. Hmm. And it's probably going to be bottlenecked by this single line anyway, so might as well just, uh, I guess bring up the ingots. Yeah, so how do we do that though? Or we can use this area over here and then bring it up this way. Do like this. And I don't know why we have it set up like that. But anyway, let's do a splitter this way. Place this here. Poles intersect with the conveyor belt, but that, I guess that's okay. You know what? Maybe for this thing we'll put MK5s. How fast is it anyway? 780 versus 480. So, okay. This will feed this extremely fast. And then we'll just have two MK4 lines going to this set of constructors. And then this will go upstairs to the fifth floor. Now we need to figure out kids okay, has to be brought up over here. Alright, so the Caterium ingots just have to pass under here then. And then spit out the Caterium wire on the other side here. Well, let's put down, or no, let's put down the constructors first. I was thinking put down the splitters here first. Then I realized I need to measure this out. So 
there going to be enough room? Yeah, there should be. Or you know what, maybe move it a little bit closer over here. Yeah, there should be enough room. So let's do one, two... Somehow I get the feeling I should have done this first. Three... Four... Five... Six... Seven... Can't afford, huh? Alright, give me some cables. That's convenient. Alright, there's eight. Maybe I should add additional criterium to this. I'm like changing these designs on the fly. Not really doing what I plan to do. I was gonna make eight of these constructors, but then I realized, you know what, maybe we can feed additional quick wire into these manufacturers over here for the high speed connectors. So now I'm doing that. Okay, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now we bring the splitters over here. Or you know what? Let's put the power poles here first. Just so we know. Okay, now we can put down the splitters. Gonna feed through this direction. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, let's get this all hooked up now. There we go. Oh, we need to connect these still. Also need to power up the constructors. Six. 
two, three, four, five, six. It's one, it's two. Three, four, five. Did I miss one? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I got all of them, but I counted it wrong. That's always nice. Is. You know what? Let's put four of these. Mix it in with that. Okay, the merger can go here. Move in this direction. Put a merger right over here. And then I'll turn this into an MK5. So there we go. That's going really fast. Like this thing is like really blurry. That's how fast it's going. And then once this gets jammed up, it'll all go into here. And then once that gets jammed up, it'll go into the next one and so on. Okay, I think that's it. This section and then the other eight will go in this direction. Three, four, five, six. Seven. Wait. What? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's because of this thing.
Okay, so we have eight constructors for quick wire for the uh, high speed connectors, eight of these for the AI limiters. But what was the recipe again? There's something else, and I already forgot it. Okay, AI limiter requires quick wire and copper sheets. Okay, so I have to bring copper ingots up here now. So if I bring the copper ingots up here, does that mean I'll have to, like, increase copper ingot production over there? Wait a minute. I can see the, our copper and aluminum place all the way from here. Nice. Wait, can I also see our coal power over there? Uh... I can see like a few pixels of that. There's our iron and our second coal power site is somewhere over there. Third one is hidden. It's inside the high ground over there. Anyway, let's go get some copper. Or you know, we can like break it off from there. Make it like easy for us. Let me get my jetpack out. Yeah, let's like put this over here. Okay, that's not going to work, is it? It would have to be over here. Okay, that conveyor is just for spacing. You know what? One more space. We'll do a splitter like right over here. And then we'll bring it up over here. That looks about right. Okay, we have to pull this just a little bit farther back just so we can connect this. There we go. All right, so now we need to get these copper ingots somewhere over there. We like use this middle lane or something. Yeah, let's do it. 